Friend of How Are You Coach, PJ Street on Friday morning. Got your bi-weekly, looked over everything. Want to give you some feedback here. Uh, really, really, really solid two-week period again. Um, y y your progress is, you know, it, it, it blows me away. Um, you've not had one period here since we started to where you haven't made progress in your body composition. Uh, now you're sitting down seven inches off your waist and you're closing in on losing 10% of your body weight. Uh, and you've done this in like four months, which very, very rare to see. Uh, very rare to see. So, you know, kudos to you. You mentioned that the nutrition part of this is the easiest part. You're in very uh, rarefied air that way. <laughs> Most people getting grasp on this nutrition and finding it easy and repeatable, that doesn't happen much. So feel very, very good about that because that's the big barrier for almost everybody. Most people, despite popular opinion that people don't like to work out, I have not found that to be the case. Most people like the gym, like training, like the way it makes them feel. Uh, the, the hard part for, for the vast majority is in the kitchen. Um, with you, it seems to be flip-flopped, but I'd rather see it flip-flopped in this direction than the other. So um, I, don't, I don't say this in a negative sense. I say it in a very positive sense. Um, nutrition was almost perfect for two weeks. Understood on your comment about the step mark. Look, six to 8,000 steps is, is still really, really good. Um, that 10,000 is, is a benchmark. It, it's a high benchmark, um, kind of a stretch goal that I want people to, to, to think about. If I set the stretch goal high, what typically happens, even if people don't hit it, they still end up being cognizant of it and getting more activity in anyway. Okay, so six to 8,000 steps is, you know, is still really, really good and way more than what most people are doing. All right. And you know, but there's only a few days where you didn't hit 10,000. Your comment about um, doing mundane things that you used to find enjoyable—that's that's the deal, Brenda. That's that's the nature of this. Um, you have to embrace doing things that you necessarily might not want to do all the time, but doing them anyway as though you love to do it. The boxer Mike Tyson said that he he summed up discipline that way. It's doing stuff that you you don't necessarily want want to do, but doing it anyway, like as though you, you love it. We all go through that. Trust me, there are days that even though I love lifting weights, there are days that I do not want to lift weights. Um, and I have periods like that myself, and I love this stuff. Um. But I go do it anyway, and I can tell you this. You'll never regret doing a workout. You may not want to do it ahead of time. You may not want to do it as you're walking down to do it. You may not even want to do it in the first 10 minutes of it. But if you trudge through it, you're always going to be glad that you did it. You'll, I can guarantee you, you'll never come out of a workout completed and say, boy, I really regret just having done that. You'll never have that happen to you, okay? I think getting you into a gym with a wider variety of equipment and opening up your exercise selection is a wonderful idea, okay? I think that's going to be a game changer for you. Home gyms, Brenda, especially a home gym with a limited amount of equipment, it sounds like it's going to be a really good idea, and for a while it can be. People think, well, I can just walk downstairs and do my workout. What, what I found is that in pretty short order, people kind of get, you know, bored with that, and it almost becomes easier to blow off. It sounds counterintuitive, but I have found this to be the case. So, look, your fat loss at this point has been out, absolutely outstanding. I mean, absolutely outstanding. The body composition changes have been absolutely outstanding, but I think if we can get you on a, a very sound strength training program in a gym, 
your your overall physique is going to absolutely take off. Okay, because right now that's that's kind of the missing element. It's great to lose weight and lose fat, um, but but if you have you know aspirations of, of really having a contoured, more athletic look within reason, right? I'm not talking about looking like a fitness model, but, you know, looking a little tighter, a little bit more toned, that's where the exercise part of this comes in. Because you can lose weight and body fat and um, come out of it not necessarily, you, you definitely look, you know, you definitely look better and smaller. Um, you're carrying around less weight, you're healthier, but you may not necessarily see the the the, the tone and, and contour of your body to the extent that you were hoping to. And that's where lifting weights, particularly lifting weights, um, comes into play. All right. So I, I think we were at the point to where we probably start looking into a gym membership. And look, I'm talking about a, 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 a three day commitment in the gym for 30 to 45 minutes and you can keep up with your walking, okay? That's all it's going to take. This isn't some massive time commitment. Yeah, now you got the commute to and from the gym, but um, I, I think it's going to be well, well worth it. And, and, and the the potential downsides of having to commute to the gym are, are going to be um, overrun and negated by the benefits that come out of it for you, physically and psychologically, Okay. So I think we think about that um, and, you know, maybe this weekend start looking into it. You don't need some grand gym membership either, Brenda. A lot of these chain gyms now, I mean, they're cheap. You can get into Planet Fitness. I'm not sure if you have those in your area for basically what averages out to be about 15 bucks a month over the course of a year. They're, it's like 10 bucks a month and then periodically they, they charge you some quarterly fee. I don't know what that's for, frankly, but um, these places are cheap. Anytime fitness, 24-hour fitness. You don't need to join a $100 a month gym. All right. So maybe start poking around and finding a place in your area, ideally within about three three to five miles of your home, to cut down the commute, and we take it from there. All right. So keep me updated on that. But look, um, you have done absolutely fantastic with this so far. Um, the results speak for themselves. We are closing in on that 10% drop in body weight. And I, I always point that out to people because that first 10% weight that you lose, that's where 90% of the health outcomes and benefits come from. That first 10%. It's a milestone. It, it, it's what's considered in the scientific literature as medically significant weight loss and it's not something that a lot of people pull off certainly not in four months um so i i really want to put that in your head because it's a big deal and you should feel really really happy and proud about that uh you're you're in a rarefied position to, to have to be closing in on that and especially in the time period that you've done it in so i just wanted to kind of raise you up there and put you on a pedal stool because it's a big deal on a lot of levels so I think that's it. Uh, let me know what you come up with on the gym. And once you, you know, commit to that and join it, um, I can develop a program pretty quickly that you can start to implement in there a couple days a week. All right. That's all I have. Uh, if you have anything else for me, let me know. Talk soon.